hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice math lumped algebraic problem and here we have 4 to the power of n minus 8 to the power of n equals to 2 and we will solve this problem for the values of n so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as so here we have 4 and we write it as 2 square and its whole power n minus we have 8 and we write it as 2 cubed and its whole power n equals to 2 and now in the next step uh, we just interchange these two exponents and uh, we write it as 2 to the power of n and its whole square minus we have 2 to the power of n and its whole cube equals to 2 so in the next step we change this exponential equation into the cubic form so that we first take this exponential function 2 to the power of n equals to y and we have y equals 2 to the power of n so we substitute this value in the above equation and we get its output in this form y square minus y cubed equals to 2 so that here we rearrange the equation and uh, uh, we first move the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side and it will become y cubed minus y square plus 2 equals to 0. And now we make the factors of this cubic equation. So in order to make the factors of this cubic equation we first break this 2 and we write it as y cubed minus y square plus we have 2 we write it as 1 plus 1 and this whole equals to 0 and now we make the pair of y cube and y square with ones and we have y cubed plus 1 and we take common minus 1 from these terms and we get minus times of y square minus 1 and this whole equals to 0 and in the next step we use here uh, the cubic and the square identity and you know about this one if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square and the square identity written as a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so we use these two formulas on the above equations and we write our above equations as here first we use the cubic formula in the first factor and we get y plus 1 into y square minus y plus 1 square and minus we use the square identity here and we get its output in this form y minus 1 times of y plus 1 and this whole equals to 0. So now you focus on both of the terms and you see that we have y plus 1 be the common factor so that we take common y plus 1 and we obtain y square minus y plus we have the square of 1 is 1 and we uh, take common y plus 1 and we get minus and we multiply this minus on both of the factors and we get minus y plus 1 and this whole equals to 0. So in the next step we need to simplify this equation and we have y plus 1 times of y square we have minus y and minus y equals to minus 2 times of y and 1 plus 1 equals to 2 and this whole equals to 0. So now we break this question in two parts. So our first part is we write y plus 1 equals to 0 and the second is y square minus 2y plus 2 equals to 0. And now in the next step we first uh, in the first case we get the value of y is minus 1 and in this case uh, we make the factors of this equation and we find 
the values of uh, y so that uh, here first we check that is this equation has real root or not so that we use the discriminant formula here and we check that is the roots of this equation are real or not so first we write the coefficients of this equation and we have a equals to 1 b equals to minus 2 and c equals to 2 so uh, the formula of discriminant will be written as delta equals to b square minus 4 times of ac and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula and we get its output in this form delta equals to b square so the value of b is minus 2 and we have minus 2 square minus 4 times of a into 2 so we have minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 times of 2 is 8 and we have 4 minus 8 equals to minus 4 so here we see that it is less than 0 so if uh, this delta is less than 0 so it means that this quadratic uh, equation has no real roots so we just write here it has no real roots so uh, this equation cannot gives us the real solution so uh, we write here we rejected this case and in this case we back substitute the value of y but in the start of the problem we have our y equals to 2 to the power of n so now we back substitute the value of y here and we get 2 to the power of n equals to minus 1 and here you see that the exponential function cannot be equals to a negative value so that if an exponential function equals to some negative value so it is not possible because exponential function always gives us the positive value so uh, this is also not possible an exponential function equals to some negative value so this case also gives us no solution no real solution so finally because our uh, given question uh, statement is uh, the uh, ex an exponential function so that uh, hey so this is the reason I cannot uh, solve uh, or I cannot choose the imaginary values or complex values because this is an exponential uh, functions here so that uh, finally we conclude this problem is that it has no solution because both of the cases cannot gives us the real solution so uh, i think so this question has no solution so this is the final final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos